Mr. Sang Wang, thank you very much for coming to Munich. And uh, I have some questions for you because you are the expert. Uh, how did everything start? Well, when I was 55 years old, I was not feeling well. Okay. I had high blood pressure, taking blood pressure pills, tendency of diabetes, mm -hmm. and uh, many adult aging diseases mm -hmm. I had. And somebody sold me a water ionizer. This is old water ionizer, mm -hmm. like fish tank. Ah, okay. Fish tank. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, she said, you can drink alkaline water, but not the acid water. Okay. She doesn't know why, but many people help, were helpful with the high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So I bought that machine just in case it might work for me. Mm -hmm. So I bought that machine and uh, drank five times a day. Mm -hmm. It's a pH of 10 okay. and 30, 300, 330 cc. Okay. In six weeks, I stopped taking blood pressure pill. Okay. And uh, I was very happy when I first discovered that. But I, as an engineer, scientist, I was beginning to worry <laughs> if this could be psychological mm -hmm. or it could be short-term phenomena or it could be doing some long-term side effect damage to my body. Mm -hmm. When you don't know these things, it bothered me. Mm -hmm. That's how I started research on this alkaline water. Why did my blood pressure go down. Can you explain now why it happened? Not only that, <laughs> I can explain very happily the, why we age, never mind my blood pressure, okay. why, why we age and uh, how we die mm -hmm. the process. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I discovered that, I published a book. Okay. In English? Obviously. In English. Okay. I lived in America uh, since 1951. Okay. So, uh, in English I wrote a book. I, I'm originally from Korea, but I cannot write a book in Korea. <laughs> That's funny because you are from Korea, the technique is from Korea, Japan, you know, Asia, but you were living in the USA and right. you got contact to that alkaline water in yeah. the USA. Yes. Okay. That, that is a strange <laughs> small okay. word. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that book was uh, written in English, mm -hmm. 1990 publication, mm -hmm. and uh, in English version, it was sold more than 100,000 copies okay. all over the world. Great. In 20 years? In 20 years. Uh -huh. No promotion, no uh -huh. advertising, just mm -hmm. word of mouth. Okay. okay. And, and then, how many translations do exist now? There are nine translations, nine language translations, okay. and uh, there are some more in the works. Ah, okay. Do you have already something for Turkey? Somebody translating Turkish? Not yet. Okay, maybe you have one now. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. the, the book is uh, not written to sell any products. Yes, I know. It, it is written to educate. Mm -hmm. Simple fact. Mm -hmm. So that to see many beautiful, nice people die sooner because they don't know the simple fact. Mm -hmm. That's why I wrote the book to help many people. Mm -hmm. This is a scientific book, but this is not a rocket scientist. This is not a brain surgeon mm -hmm. science, simple science, but because they don't know it, they cannot live long. Mm -hmm. And That's, if they know it, they don't know to use it also. They don't have alkaline water that they have to use it, no? Right. The, uh, you can learn all about this uh, water technique, why we live long, but if you don't drink alkaline water, <laughs> it's useless yeah. information. And this is how I got involved with the mm -hmm. alkaline water and the books. So, um, I mean, you drink now since 20 years that alkaline water, I suppose. Yeah. And what are the side effects? I mean, you have met also many people. Uh, what are the consequences to drink ionized water? The side effects is that you lose weight mm -hmm. and uh, you get more energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, my case was as a side effect, but taking any pills, 
I don't have any more blood, high blood pressure mm -hmm. and the uh, tendency of diabetes disappearing mm -hmm. if I had the gout mm -hmm. and the gout pain disappears, mm -hmm. arthritis disappears. I consider that to be side effects because I'm not taking any medicine. Okay. <laughs> Naturally uh -huh. reducing, eliminating those. And what do you think is the most important thing in the ionized water? The electrons, I mean the ORP or the pH? Or the hexagonal structure, what is for you the most important? This is the important matter that you don't throw out mm -hmm. alkaline minerals, but you filter out pollutants. Mm -hmm. How old yeah. are you? I'm now 77 years old. Mm -hmm. 77? Yes. I was born in 1977 and I just got, <laughs> I just got 20, uh, 33 years on the past Saturday. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> um, yeah, uh, about the technical stuff for the ionizer. I mean, you have an ionizer, you decided to, an ionizer to have the water inlet, like uh, making it more or less. Is that important and why did you choose yeah, that thing? That gives you flexibility. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We are, every water supply is different and every municipality, when they supply water, the water pressure is different. Mm -hmm. That's why we need an ionizer that is flexible. Okay, so you change the water pressure? Water by, flow. The water flow, yes. Yes. Uh, and what do you think? Like two liters, three liters a minute we need more of it? To me, more important is not the speed uh -huh. to get pH 10. <laughs> okay, so your recommendation is drinking by time, time, time to time pH 10? A normal person like me, should he drink pH 10 or more, or should he stay until nine, pH 9? Or what is your recommendation? The, I know some, some countries recommend uh, pH 9, pH 9.5, mm -hmm. and uh, but original work done in Japan mm -hmm. 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. 70? 70 oh. years ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> I read the Japanese, so I know their original research paper. Okay. The recommended pH 10, five times a day, 330 cc mm -hmm. each time. If you are ill or in normal day also? The air, if you have a lot of pain, uh -huh. then you can drink more. Okay. And uh, I will still consider pH 10 to be minimum. But in, in Germany, they only recommend the pH 9.5 or 9. That's up to individual government. It's a politics. Funny, because I have many clients drinking that water, and if, if they start with a higher pH, they get somehow ill or they the, land in the bed. Initially, uh -huh. initially, your body is so much accustomed to mm -hmm. low acid pH, mm -hmm. the, and the stomach can take more acid. Like we drink a Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. pH 2.5, mm -hmm. and we are okay. So yes. our, our body is more accustomed to acid drink. Mm -hmm. So initially, it requires adjustment. Okay. Uh -huh. So you start with a lower pH, like 7.5, 8, and then you high up, or you start yes. just right now 10? If you start 10 and get a headache, recommend to start lower pH. <laughs> Better lower pH and drinking more, or if I feel something that, oh, sh I have to go, I need to lay for some days, should I then stop drinking alkaline water, or should I go on but drinking lower and more, or what do you recommend? The lower pH rather than stopping. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. And uh, you can gradually increase mm -hmm. pH okay. too, so that your body doesn't feel surprised okay. to drink pH 10. Okay. There are some people who say uh, ionized water all the time, that should not be good for our health. And I'm not thinking like that because I'm drinking it already now more than one year and always pH 9, 9.5, 10 sometimes. Do you think a whole life drinking pH 10 water or just to from time to time, like a cool? The, if you know why we get this acid in our body, mm -hmm. we get acid because we eat food. Mm -hmm. We must eat food to get the energy. Mm -hmm. And the feed, food consumption is a constant. Okay. As long as you eat your food, I tell them drink alkaline water. Yes, to neutralize <laughs> it, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, I'm in the moment drinking like uh, 
every day three, four liters, sometimes five, as I have this shop and I show the people the water and by the way, I drink also <laughs> and I drink a lot. But uh, the point is that I don't eat in the morning. I even not eat at one o'clock. Mostly I eat after five o'clock, uh, sometimes at 10 o'clock the first time, drinking all the time electrons full water. And my idea was, as I'm not so hungry or when I'm hungry, I drink that water. Is it because of the electrons inside? Because if you eat food, this will also get to electrons. Um, is it for this reason a food, energy drink, including electrons and food, which makes us not hungry anymore? What do you think? You still have to eat food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I, it seems like I don't have to eat so much anymore. Well, that's your particular okay. case, I would say. Okay. But you need energy to function. Energy is in the water, electrons, isn't it? No. Okay. <clears throat> the, uh, Energy comes from four elements, mm -hmm. nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Mm -hmm. Those are the energy giving atoms. Okay. And we call that organic minerals. Mm -hmm. uh, we must eat those to get energy. Otherwise, uh, you will become skinnier, skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> it's my case. <laughs> skinnier, you lose weight. Uh, what do you recommend uh, for Germany? I mean, it looks like that around the globe, this ionized alkaline water is already done. Many people know it. Uh, can you explain us how what is going on around uh, outside Europe? And if you compare with Europe? Well, the ionized water started in Japan, mm -hmm. then went to Korea, and the spread into Far East mm -hmm. or Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And they are more popular, the people know more about it to alkalize. Mm -hmm. We talk about acid and alkaline balance. Mm -hmm. And uh, balance is very important in oriental philosophy. Mm -hmm. And But world is faced with a major problem of a drinking water shortage. Okay. Right now, we may have a shortage in oil. Mm -hmm. But those countries, some of them, do not have drinking water. Yeah. And uh, water is more immediate. Mm -hmm. If you cut off water, mm. you cannot live too long. You can cut off oil, you can still live, yes, still live longer. So, the, philosophically, the Europe's awareness of uh, water it's very beginning phase, mm -hmm. or like a kindergarten. <laughs> okay, so around the world, it's already much more. No? Around the world, it's much more. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, it does not mean everybody is drinking the alkaline ionized water. The important wisdom mm -hmm. is, is not the knowledge. In order to have a benefit, you must drink mm -hmm. alkaline water. Otherwise, all this knowledge is useless. Yes, yes. But water ionized uh, especially alkavest mm -hmm. is uh, important because it takes out the harmful stuff mm -hmm. from the water so that you don't get sick when mm -hmm. you drink. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it makes you healthier. Yes, yes. That's right. So if you, you ask people, which do you prefer? Do you want a healthy <laughs> water or do you want a computer? <laughs> okay, yeah. The importance is up to you. Yes, yes, you're right. Uh, thank you very much. It was nice to meet you here and we are looking forward for your presentation later on. And I hope to write you emails or whatever. Yes. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. You know the Turkish people, they make like, if somebody is very respectful, the Turkish people, they, when they go or come, they, make, they kiss the hand. And I would like to kiss your hand uh, in order for everybody who likes you so much and who are happy to have the contact to the ionized water. May I? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See you then. Seit 1997 haben Forscher vermutet, dass die beobachteten Gesundheitsvorteile von elektrisch aktiviertem Wasser auf dem Vorhandensein von gelöstem Wasserstoff beruhen. Nach zehn Jahren war gesichert, dass es sich dabei um gasförmigen Wasserstoff, also H2, handelt. Dieser erwies sich überraschend als der einzig nachweisbare Gesundheitsverbesserer in diesem Wasser. 
Das sogenannte Basenwasser zeigt ohne Wasserstoff keine Gesundheitsvorteile. Allerdings schmeckt es den meisten besser als neutrales oder saures Wasser, vor allem wenn es gasförmigen Wasserstoff enthält. Heute ist klar, ohne Wasserstoff gibt es keine nachweisbaren Heilefolge von Wasser, unabhängig vom pH-Wert.